Extractors help your model find and pull additional information from the files that your model has identified. You can train an extractor by using the files you imported in your training set. First, you need to create an extractor for each entity or element of information that you want to extract. To begin, select Train Extractor or New Entity Extractor to start creating a new extractor model. Give the extractor a name, such as Service Start Date in our example, and then select Create. This opens the extractor page and displays your labeled example files with the first file of your training set shown in the viewer. In the first file, find and highlight the element that you want it to recognize. In our example, select the Service Start Date value. You can either select Save and select the next file you want to label, or you can click Next File to auto-save that label and move to the next file on the list. Go to the next example file and repeat, labeling the service start date value and submitting your label. You will see the label values appear for each labeled file in the labeled examples list. Continue until you have at least five examples. Next, find at least one negative example and select No Label Present. This tells the model that it will not find the label in this type of document. After you've labeled a sufficient number of files, choose Train in the banner or the menu. The next step is to create an explanation to assist the extractor in identifying the information from the labeled example files. For our example, since we're trying to extract a date, we can create a new explanation from the explanation library. The Explanation Library is a set of pre-built phrase and pattern explanations. Pre-built explanations try to capture all the various formats that can be used, such as all the ways a phone number can be represented. In our case, we can use the pre-built Date explanation. Select Date, and in the Pattern list you can see all of the variations of how a date appears in a document. Select Add to choose the date type from the Explanation Library. Save the explanation to start training. If you receive a mismatch, it means the predicted value doesn't exactly match your label. Click on the file to see what is wrong. You may need to edit your explanation or add an additional one to help the model. Once you make the change, the model will automatically retrain. In our example, we notice that the service start date is always preceded by the string service start date of. We can create a new explanation call it prefix string, select phrase list as the type, and use service start date of as the value. Select save, and it'll use both explanations and rerun the model. In our example, with the additional information, we successfully get a match. Choose test to run the model on all the unlabeled files in your training set. This will help you to further validate the effectiveness of your model.